little bit of cloud cover around. This is our live shot, Dallas, in that beautiful sky. This day has dawned, our first day of October. We have a little bit of an east southeast wind. Right now, 67 degrees. We do have some outlying areas that are in the 50s where these skies have cleared out a little bit better through the overnight hours. Uh, this is where the cloud cover came from. There was a little disturbance that moved over us through the overnight hours. And this morning, we woke up with the clouds and a little bit of light rain, but that is quickly leaving. It's just along the Red River now. So if you're headed to the state fair, 76 degrees as they open up the midway, 88 for an afternoon high. So dress accordingly. It will be a warm day here across North Texas with plenty of sunshine. And we'll still be in the 80s by 7 o'clock as we close the day. You know, just real quick, since it's the first day of October, let's talk about September. Because these were all the dry days in September. We had a trace of rain on 19th. Then we get to the last three of the four last day of September, and we finally get a little bit of rain. And it was just a little bit of rain, less than a half an inch. So we ended up this month as the 13th dry September on record and the 20th warmest September on record. So now we're in October. And, and October is a month where temperatures normally really drop. I mean, our average high today is 83 degrees. By the end of the month, it's 73. And you see how the lows correspond as well. We have had, had some hot days. 106 is the hottest day ever in October, but there's really only been three days in October where it got 100 degrees or warmer. Now, if you're wondering about October, this is how it looks now. For the most part, the eastern half of the U.S., including North Texas, looks like have a good chance of above normal temperatures. The cooler weather will be stuck up into the northern Rockies. As far as rainfall, it looks dry. Uh, mostly dry weather, not only here, but across the south and into the Ohio Valley. The rains are going to be up to the north, along with some winter weather. But for the next two days around here, it's going to be hot and, and dry, just like we were thinking most of the month's going to be. A high of 88 today and 91 tomorrow as you're back to work and back to those practice fields. But let's talk about some rain because the slow moving front is going to help bring up a lot of moisture from the Gulf. And with daytime heating, we're going to get some thunderstorms going. It's going to be Tuesday and Wednesday. These thunderstorms could produce some really heavy rain. It'll It'll knock the temperatures back a little bit because of the clouds and the rain chances, but with the front staying to the north, we're right back to warm weather by Thursday. But here's the rain chances at 40% Tuesday, 30% Tuesday night, a 40% chance Wednesday for most of the day. And then by the time we get into Wednesday evening, it will knock down to 20%, and then it looks to be gone. As far as rainfall amounts, we're putting a, maybe between a half an inch to an inch of rain in some areas. Isolated areas will get heavy rain because there's so much moisture in the air. Here's a seven day forecast, and you see for the most part, these are above normal temperatures. In fact, every day is above normal. It's just a little bit cooler Tuesday and Wednesday because of the good rain chances. 88 today, 91 Monday. Cooler weather with rain, and then we get into some dry weather again and warm conditions as well. Saturday's high next weekend looks to be 90 degrees, but it does look like a dry weekend because Sunday's in the upper 80s. But we are talking about rain chances again by the time we get to Tuesday. Otherwise, we're, everyone's waiting for Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, to get some rain again for the gardens.